Right, you done? Yeah. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. I'm trying to think of a different way to say it. Like a new intro for the videos, and I'm struggling. But I've said it now, we've gone with it. That's what I'm gonna say for this video. Anyway, hello. We are back for another workout video. We are doing upper body today. We have company. Hannah is back. She has got a gym membership for the month, so. <laughs> she's, she's doing things. We are doing an upper body workout today. It's gonna be a long one, I reckon. Shouldn't be for you guys if you are gonna do this workout, but I have to teach Hannah the workout and film it. So, it's gonna Yay. be a long one. It's quite a long workout anyway, because I've mentioned before. Actually, no, we'll talk about it after. We'll keep with that format that what we did for the lower body one last week. But we shall go in. It is a good workout. Let us go. cooked my lunch and I think the pan burnt because it's just my eyes just start screaming and so did my nose so that's why I'm looking a little bit I feel like it looks a little bit red but anyway back home had to drop Hannah off and also had my lunch so I thought we'd talk through a little bit of the workout so let's get the workout up and we'll talk through the exercises a bit. I hope people are enjoying this kind of format where I'm not really talking about the workout until after so you don't have to watch it if you don't want to anyway right so Assisted chin up. I prefer to do chin up because I, it just feels better movement and lets your like biceps come into it a little bit and I've struggled with my volume for biceps so I enjoy doing them. Uh, they are also just, they feel a bit more natural for me and I feel like I can do them with good form correctly. I have to do them with the band at my gym as you saw in the video but if there was an assisted machine I'd much prefer to do it with that. I just think the machines are a lot Better, you have a lot more kind of 
flexibility with how much it helps and how much it doesn't, things like that. So I definitely would prefer to do it with a machine if I have one, but the gym that I go to doesn't have one. So that's why I use the band. You can do it with different types as well. Like I use quite a thick band and then Hannah used it with a thick band and then a thinner band so she could get more help. So the thicker the band, the easier it is. The more bands you use, the easier it is. So make sure you're using the appropriate one if you do do the band assisted pull-ups. Uh, chin ups. The incline bench I've talked about before. I struggle with chest exercises because the majority of them require you to lie down and I can't lie down when I'm doing weights. So the incline is kind of my biggest lift on chest and I really, really enjoy it. So that's why it's in this plan as well as the last one. Upright rows. So I've only just started doing these again because upright row has always triggered off my shoulder. Uh, if you are new, I have like a shoulder, not injury, but twinge. I think like my traps are very, very, very overactive, but also they're not like strong at all. So like it used to like sit on a nerve. It's all very weird, but it was very, very painful. So I, my, I've been improving with that like quite a lot because I've been doing like a lot of rehab with it making sure like everything's activated before I start working and I've just put these back in and they're actually feeling really really good and not triggering, triggering my shoulder off so I'm very very happy and you know what they actually feel really really good <laughs> because I've never been able to do them correctly I've always wondered why people like them so much and I understand it now my delts I probably want to say that I feel these in my delts more than I've more than anything else, more than lateral raises, more than anything. I feel this in my delts. So I do them leaning over slightly and only coming up to about there because any further than there, you're using your trap. And I don't want my trap to do anything because it it like works too hard. So I'll go up to there because that's that's as far as your delt can do the movement. So I don't go up too far, I angle myself back a little bit to try and help the shoulder not get triggered and they feel so good. It's all about just really, really thinking about how that part of your muscle is doing the work rather than just flinging it up and then it working your traps. If you want to do that and you want your traps to be working for that exercise, obviously that's completely fine, but I'm wanting to do it for delts. So that's the way I perform it and I love it. Like I really, really love it. I do it really, really light. I don't think I'm ever gonna try and go heavy on this exercise just because I am really, really worried about it starting to hurt. And light is enough for me. Like I get a really good kind of burn with it. Once I, I mean, I do super, super high reps. I don't put my reps on screen because the reason is because I want you guys to feel how it feels. Like there's no point in seeing that I've done 12 reps and then you doing 12 reps, but then, the weight you've got it at feels super super easy like you always want to go like one to five reps away from away from failure if you're trying to put muscle on so that's why i never put it on so with that i end up doing like 30 reps and i'm fine with that at the minute i think i'll creep it up when i'm feeling more and more confident but this is only like my third week of this plan so i'm happy staying nice and light with them at the minute like i think i literally use six kilo dumbbells so i'm really enjoying them and i'm fine with it being light i'm going to skip over bench support at dumbbell curl and we're going to talk a little bit about ytw Wells. these are they look strange and if you've never seen them or heard of them before they can be a little bit like what on earth is that i feel like some people think that i'm like trying to fly in the gym or something but they are like the best kind of exercise you can do for your shoulder health and for rotator cuff and things like that which is obviously what i need with my shoulder and they're the best exercise like, i don't think i've met a physio who hasn't recommended ytwls because like it's the type of thing where i'll show them a plan and they're always in they're like keep them in and i'm like okay they are very very highly recommended they work all the different kind of muscles in your shoulder like not really the delt well the l's work the delts but like they work like loads of different muscles in the shoulders and if you are confused about how it looks you're basically making a y with your arms a t with your arms a w with your arms and then an l with your arms and they are just they are very very good and they are very very difficult like i've i got up to using weight like a few months back and then i took them out of my pan and i've just put them back in and i can only do body weight right now and that really really hurts like i can do 12 reps of each and it's burning by the end the thing i struggle with is keeping it slow so please make sure that you guys keep it slow and control i end up going like like the first few reps of the wise i don't know if i ended up putting it in but they were just too fast you got to keep it controlled and slow and honestly if you haven't done them before just give them a try in your warm-up like i always do them in my upper body warm-ups regardless of whether i've got them in my workout and 
they're just brilliant definitely definitely give them a try so that was that workout there's loads of other things that i normally talk about with workouts but if you are new please go check out some of my other ones and i talk like about like structure and things like that or if you have any questions please just leave them below or use the crush ninja link that i have in my description box if you aren't that confident with com commenting but I love doing the fitness content and I would love to be able to help you guys so please make sure to let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please try and leave it a like. It just really supports me and helps my channel grow which is a priority at the minute. So yeah, apart from all that, thank you very very much for watching and hopefully I will see you in another video. Bye!